How much RAM do you actually need for gaming, and how much does RAM configuration affect your gaming performance? In this video we are going to find out how RAM affects frame rates in PC gaming, and also what is the optimum amount of RAM you should choose for your computer. For this test, I will be using a high-end gaming laptop with AMD's latest processor, an NVIDIA 3060 graphics unit, a fairly powerful system to show you that even with an expensive laptop, you can potentially miss out on a lot of performance if you choose the wrong memory configuration. I will be testing three different RAM configurations with various games and show you the results. 8GB and 16GB in single channel configuration and 32GB in dual channel configuration is what I will be testing. To test how different types of games are affected, I have selected a variety of games ranging from shooters to action-adventure games, and also included racing simulations and strategy titles. Starting with the minimum and recommended amount of RAM for each game. The left bar indicates the minimum required RAM to run the game, while the right bar represents the recommended amount of RAM from developers to play the game smoothly. I am gonna test every memory configuration with each of these games to see how it affects gaming performances in terms of FPS. Assassin's Creed Odyssey recommends a minimum of 8GB of RAM. With 8GBs only, the game suffers a 30% drop in average frame rates compared to the 16GB configuration, and close to 40% if you had a dual channel system. Batman Arkham Knight the degradation from the single channel RAM was 11% and 19% if you compare to dual channel. Deus Ex Mankind Divided is a system hog when it comes to resources. The game requires a whopping 16 GBs of RAM to run smoothly. In this chart we can see why, as the 8 GB single channel configuration performs nearly 35% lower than a system running dual channel. F1 2018 is an older title, but the pattern continues, as the drop in average frames in this fantastic racer was close to 50% in the worst case scenario. Far Cry 5 lost nearly one third of its potential when you switch from a dual channel RAM configuration to a system with only 8 gigabytes. Tomb Raider is another game that benefits from more memory. Having just 8 gigabytes of RAM versus 16 gigabytes equaled a 25% loss in average frames. On the other hand, if you run the game in a dual channel environment, it will boost another 18%, essentially a free upgrade if you choose your parts correctly. Total War, Three Kingdoms. I wouldn't have thought that the amount of memory would have a large impact as the advertised minimum RAM requirements is only 4 GB. However, when benchmarking this game, I noticed a 21% difference just by doubling the RAM, and yet another 6% gain if you were to run the game in a dual channel system configuration. Fortnite is probably the game that requires the least amount of resource when it comes to hardware. In this game, there was no significant gain in FPS when increasing the RAM, and it can probably run on just 4 GB. However, switching to a system with dual channel saw an immediate boost of 30%. Takeaways from this video, the amount of RAM really have a big impact on your overall system performance. It emphasizes the importance of having a balanced system if your main purpose is to play games on your PC. In 2021, the best combination of RAM for most people would be 16GB in an 8x2 configuration for dual channel. It is important to know that a single 16GB memory stick would not be as good as two 8GB modules. The reason is because the bandwidth that comes with a dual channel system is significantly increased compared to single channel, and more data can be carried through and processed, giving you a higher FPS in games. If you like this video, please help to spread the knowledge by sharing the video. If you find this information to be useful, please support the channel by liking the video, as it really helps me to continue doing this.
Don't forget to check out my other videos comparing NVIDIA's latest RTX 3000 series GPUs. Thanks for watching.